Hi, in this video we're asked to find the sum of this series. So normally it's very, very difficult to find the sum of just some random series. So the idea here is to try to relate this to a familiar series that we know. So because we have an n factorial here, I'm thinking about e to the x. Recall that e to the x is equal to the infinite sum as n runs from 0 to infinity of x to the n divided by n factorial. And this converges for all x. So we have the n factorial already. What's different is the x to the 4n. We also have this negative 1 to the n. So I think what will work is if we look at e the negative x to the fourth. Let's go ahead and plug that into our formula here. So this is the infinite sum. As n runs from zero to infinity. And basically what we'll do is we'll replace this x with this. Right? And we can do that because this converges for all x. So it'll certainly converge for negative x to the fourth. So this is negative x to the fourth to the n over n factorial. And we can do some algebra here to make this work. I'm just going to come up here and do it in a different color so you see it. We have negative x to the fourth to the n. You can write this as negative 1 times x to the fourth to the n. Using properties of exponents, this is the same thing as negative 1 to the n times x to the fourth to the n. That's a property that says if you have a times b to the n, that's the same thing as a to the n times b to the n. So this is negative 1 to the n. And then here you multiply the 4 and the n. That's another property of exponents. And so we're good. So this is equal to the infinite sum as n runs from 0 to infinity. And we've broken this piece up. So I'm going to write it out here. Negative 1 to the n times x to the 4n over n factorial. And you can put this outside or you can put it in the numerator together with the x to the 4 n. Right? This is really over 1, so it doesn't really matter. And so you'll notice that that's equal to this. That's the same thing we have. So the final answer is that this actually uh, converges to e to the negative x to the fourth. That is the value of this sum for any x. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.